All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion and slash review for the very new 2023 series called Twisted Metal. It is based on a video game and only on Peacock streaming app, as, I, as I'm aware of, uh, and this is season one. Um, here's the plot. John Doe, a motor mouth outside with no memory of his past, is offered a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to make his wish come true. But only if he can successfully deliver a mysterious package across the post-apocalyptic wasteland. And here is some of the cast. Now, I knew nothing about this go game going in. I don't even know when uh, it came out. Uh, by the look of what I could see, it looks like it's like early 2000, maybe late 90s for all I know. I don't know what, I think it was on PlayStation 2, so probably early 2000s. So didn't know much what to expect going into this. To be honest, I read it was End of the World, and it was based on a game, and it was a dark comedy. That's literally it. And I don't know how if how realistic this is towards the game, but I have heard reviews for it. Uh, just and pe from people making comments under uh, videos, people's channel suggesting this. Um, so it's and I kind of seen it. It kind of gets mixed up reviews, but this is my personal opinion. So. Now, there was stuff about this I liked, stuff I thought was just okay, and some stuff I didn't like. More stuff I liked than there was stuff I didn't like, and obviously the okay is kind of a couple things. I had no clue Will Arnett was going to be voicing Sweet Tooth, which just added another layer of the comedy to the dark character that is Sweet Tooth, which was also played by the rest the wrestler Samoa Joe as the body and I never grew up with wrestling so I didn't know who that was even though his name sounds familiar but he's a big guy he's definitely would be a good boss and I believe for some reason in my mind right now I'm thinking Sweet Tooth is a boss maybe uh, possibly in the game but again I never played the game never heard of the game uh, but that's really all I got with that you know, I, I, I really don't know, again, what was going what was going to go into this. However, because this was in 4K, the 4K made the CGI look super rough a lot of the time. Especially the background and the, the, the driving and stuff. So, which is cool at the same time, but yeah. Which I was kind of expecting from a lesser known streaming app that is Peacock. And I haven't really checked out much on here, but this because this is a lesser known cheese, uh, streaming app. I kind of expect some more cheaper stuff. And I'm going to be checking out some other stuff, by the way. Uh, definitely the great highlights of this was Sweet Tooth and uh, uh, Anthony Mackie's character throughout the series. Um, he actually was funny like 99 or 99.8% of the time. There was some kind of corniness and overused jokes. But I, I really enjoyed his character. It was a lighthearted while they kind of had a... a uh, Violentness and kind of dark, eerie type of back to it, but it was mostly comedy. I thought it wasn't the best looking, to be honest, and the best in general, but it was such a fun ride from getting to end. Now, here's my rating. I'll come back my final thoughts on why I rated the why I did. Now, when it comes to deciding on this specific one, the rating, I mean, I was a bit conflicted. On one hand, I had such a fun time with the characters and story. On the other hand, unfortunately, it looked cheap and felt like our early 2000 B film. Technically, a 4 out of 5 for the entertainment. Might even go 4.5 for that. But for quality, it came to 2 out of 5, which ends up being a 3.5 out of 5 for me personally. But what is your rating? What is your thoughts? Um, I am very curious. Um, I kind of have to agree with the people saying it had it was very entertaining, but it wasn't you know, the best when it came to how rough the CGI was. Um, but I think if the CGI was so much better than it was and it you know the 4k makes it 
brings the it makes it worse looking so maybe not as bad as it is really but it does look really bad and the 4k adds to that um if they fix that i think this could have been like a four out of five maybe a four and a half out of five but i think four and a half is pushing it so maybe a four um but yeah it's 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 definitely not terrible compared to the resident evil series they tried to do on netflix Oof, that was horrible um i don't care who you are in my personal opinion to the point it's almost like a fact it, it was bad it was bad um but this this is like away from it quite a bit but still has a lot of issues mostly with the cgi and kind of the comedy was again overused but uh yeah so remember i love you all please stay safe and i'll be having something out a couple things hopefully this weekend out um so and then the next week is kind of big so uh I've, again i love you all spread the love skull <laughs>